cops either. Nearly a million black Americans had fought for their country in World War II. They returned home to an America that continued to discriminate against them. They had been to Europe where they were regarded as heroes. So to come back to the South, still having to go to the back of the bus, not being able to sit downstairs in a movie theater, it was uh, an ironic kind of return to a country for which we had risked our lives. President Truman was so angry about the treatment of black veterans that he demanded change. He sent a civil rights message to Congress, which was the first civil rights message ever sent to Congress by any president. And he'd made the decision, made the decision to order the desegregation of the armed forces and of the federal government. Very important. Something else very important. America's national sport was changed in the late 1940s. In 1947, Jackie Robinson joined the Brooklyn Dodgers, the first black man to play in Major League Baseball. Huge, huge moment. And particularly because baseball, baseball really mattered then. When we saw a black ball player, the only one step out onto the field our hearts were with him because we wanted him to succeed. They'd call him all kinds of names, the nigger and that stuff, trying to rattle him. But uh, Jackie kept, kept us cool. At the end of his rookie year, Jackie Robinson, in one national poll, was voted the second most popular man in America, behind only Bing Crosby. We're talking about the American dream, best years of our lives. Uh, you know, we want American democracy to work. And here he comes, and he's a very intelligent, proud person, and he does brilliantly. So in America, the years right after the war were a time of broken boundaries and seemingly limitless.